how you can grow to any height with open plates. In this video, I will teach you how you can grow forever to reach your dream height. This isn't going to be basic advice like sleep 8 to 10 hours and eat healthy because millions of people already do these things and they still end up 5 foot 5 and 5 foot 6. You've probably been told that your height is entirely determined by your genetics, but this simply isn't true. You can change it if you possess the correct information which I will reveal in this video so make sure to stick around and watch the whole video. Alright, in order to learn how to grow taller, we first need to know why we stop growing. Basically, humans stop growing because at the end of puberty, the cells and growth plates become senescent, which means they stop behaving properly, then quickly turn into bone. This prevents new bone from forming, and this typically happens around 14 to 15 for girls and 15 to 17 for boys, but can sometimes occur in the early 20s. Now our goal in growing taller is to stop this senescence from happening. So what triggers senescence in our growth plates? High estrogen triggers senescence, and thus makes growth plates close, so we have to keep estrogen levels low. Luckily there is a class of supplements known as aromatase inhibitors, which stop the formation of estrogen and put the levels close to zero. If someone did want to grow taller and their growth plates hadn't closed yet, then taking these supplements would stop the growth plates from closing altogether and allow this person to continue growing even into adulthood. There was a man who came to a doctor complaining of knock knees. He was 5 foot 10 at age 18 but somehow continued growing to 6 foot 8 by age 28. The doctors were stunned by his miraculous growth so they ran some tests. They determined he had a mutation in his genes that lowered his estrogen and his growth plates had never fused. Through taking aromatase inhibitors, these results can be mimicked, and growth can continue far beyond normal. However, there are other mistakes people make that can increase estrogen and close your plates. The biggest mistake is having a high body fat percentage. Excess estrogen synthesis occurs in adipose tissue, or body fat, and the methods aren't fully understood yet. This is why many overweight men start developing gynecomastia, or man boobs, and why the overweight kids don't grow as tall as the skinny kids. Another problem is beer. Beer is the most estrogenic thing we consume. It is filled with phytoestrogens and drastically increases estrogen levels in the body. The term beer belly originated because men who drank a lot of beer became fat and feminized due to the high estrogen levels in beer and the excess calories. Other alcoholic beverages should also be avoided, but beer is easily the worst. Soy products should also be avoided. Although the science isn't clear on them, they're most likely estrogenic and shouldn't be consumed. There are plenty of other estrogenic foods and things to avoid, but I will talk about those in another video. Although having a very low estrogen level is good for increasing height, it's not healthy long term. The man who grew to 6 foot 8 by 28 had osteoporosis and bone mineral density equal to a 90-year-old woman, and other studies have shown negative impacts on the serotonergic system. Estrogen is neuroprotective in small doses, so being without adequate estrogen for 10 years will have negative impacts on the brain. It's not advisable to take aromatase inhibitors for more than 3 years. But if you follow all of the steps outlined in the hypergrowth method, you should see growth upwards of 10 inches during this time, assuming open growth plates. The osteoporosis the 28-year-old man had is completely reversible, and the bone mineral density can be increased to ideal levels by simply having enough estrogen and working out to increase muscle mass. So don't worry about temporary bone weakening. Now, in order to achieve this heightened rate of growth, one will have to increase HGH and IGF-1. Some people inject HGH, but this isn't advisable because it can be dangerous for one, and it's only one type of growth hormone when there are many. If one were to increase their height, the better approach is to take MK677. No MK677 is not a SARM. MK677 is a ghrelin mimetic, so it makes you feel hungrier, but you also produce more HGH and other growth factors which leads to more IGF-1 production. There are also supplements that should be taken with MK677 to enhance its effectiveness and stop its side effects. Hooperzine A should be taken alongside MK677, as Hooperzine A is a somatostatin inhibitor. Somatostatin inhibits HGH and IGF-1. So inhibiting, somatostatin raises HGH and IGF-1. MK677 comes with side effects, as it is acting on the ghrelin receptors. If you have high body fat, are insulin resistant, diabetic, or live a very sedentary lifestyle, you should not take MK677 under any circumstances, as you can become diabetic or pre-diabetic. Even for those that are healthy, precautions must be taken when using MK677. 
Berberine should be taken in the proper doses to make sure the one doesn't become insulin resistant. It also has a compounding effect on the aromatase inhibitor, but that's too in-depth for this video. I personally didn't know about these when I took MK677 and was fine, but I was in perfect physical condition working out and running 5 to 10 miles a day. These supplements should be taken and blood glucose levels should be checked regularly, because health is extremely important. I believe that extremely knowledgeable doctors have known about these methods for years, and many NBA players have used these methods to have insane growth spurts after high school. Scottie Pippen grew from 6 foot 1 all the way to 6 foot 8 in college. Even more impressive, Dennis Rodman grew from 5 foot 6 to 6 foot 8 at the age of 19, an age where most doctors say growth has stopped, and plenty of others have had similar stories. If you want to know the exact doses of supplements, all the supplements you should be taking, how to avoid fake or underdosed supplements, and the sleeping and exercise habits and much more that I haven't gone over in this video. Click the link in the description to get the hypergrowth method. Hope you learned something new and see you guys next time.